Hi there, YouTube. Bit of a fun little project, a project I've been playing with for a couple of minutes. As you can see, that fan is got lights that spin around. Um, basically, these are Bit Phoenix, Bit, uh, Bit Phoenix Spectre LED fans, and you you can switch the LEDs on and off in them. And I thought I'd have a bit of fun with them, plus an Arduino and an op amp and have a bit of fun so basically these fans have this extra wire coming out of them, a little header that you can plug into um, that uh, says fan LED here and basically that allows you to, if you can't switch between them, you can turn the the LEDs in the fan on and off, which is what I had originally I just had a, there's a fan, I don't know if you can become a fan, a switch, sorry, up in the back of the case here, right there. And I can switch that on and off to turn the LEDs and the fans on and off. That just comes out to, that switch is connected up to this cable here, that's actually two cores inside that cable. Piece of Vero board and some headers, it's hard to see because it's not focusing. Um, piece of Vero board and some headers and some heat shrink. And I was able to make this nice little bit. It just sits up in the back of the computer. That's the other two fans plugged into it there now. They say uh, fan LED and plus and minus. So that yeah, that that allowed me to turn the LEDs on and off when I wanted. But I thought, what happens if I turn them on and off at the right frequency? Some kind of multiple of the, f the speed that these fan blades are spinning at. And what I figured out, basically, all I did was this circuit here. Oh, sorry, that shadow's a bit bad, a bit nasty. But the idea is. We've got our Uno here, Arduino, Uno, Uno, whatever you want, however you want to pronounce it. A pot so I can adjust this. I'll leave it where it is for now, but a pot so I can adjust the timing of the switches on and off. Um, and then an op amp. This is a quarter of an LM324, uh, so just an op amp I had lying around. It's what bought up as a comparator, basically. So we've got our signal coming from the Uno here. Going straight into the you know, inverting input couple of, I don't know what value they are, just resistors and then that and then so basically this op amp is powered from the 12 volt rail of the computer what I think is happening inside the fan is you have got 12 volts coming from you know, to power the fan is coming in through this header if you just short these with a switch then it goes straight through and through a current limiting resistor and I'm not sure whether the LEDs are in series or parallel I haven't measured the current yet but there might even be a transistor in there or something but I think this is what's happening for now this is working quite well. So I've got this pot here, LM324 and my two resistors, and the Arduino Uno. Okay, uh, I've had a bit more fun uh, fiddling with the duty cycle of course. So I've added, whoop, colour balance, white balance, we've, I've added another pot, just the same arrangement as the previous pot of course. And we've done a bit of math, which sort of took a bit of working out, but not too bad. Um, basically, if we get, that, get this to focus, uh, we have another variable here called duty, which is the duty cycle. We take this, we map this duty value from our analog input. Oh, you focusing thing, you're annoying. I'm going to read it out. Basically, we map it from 0 to 1023, which is what it comes in from the analog to digital converter. Map it from minus time to plus time. So, minus 1 times time, so the negative of time. The value time, not actual time, that would be weird. Uh, but, for perfectly physical problem. That, uh, to... And then the reason for the plus one and the minus one is to stop weird things happening right at the extremities. Um, it was doing weird stuff, so I just and I suspected that it's because it wasn't ever quite getting to one of these. So there we go. Now you can read it. That's really simple. Then we just go delay of microseconds is time plus duty and time minus duty. Pretty simple. And what that allows us to do, if this gets its white balance back, is as well as adjust really nicely the the frequency so that we can adjust how fast it moves around, we can also adjust the duty cycle. We whoop, so from zero all the way up and up and up. Oh this is fun. I don't know how well this is gonna come out on the camera but to me it looks pretty cool. It's not very defined well defined because it's you know dusty blades and and everything but if I stick my finger in it we get some really coolness happening. Uh, this is fun. B 
But yeah, <laughs> that's just a little extra. That's just a bit more fun. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.